undisclosed location somewhere in North America, this is your weekly Truth Be Told Minuteman report. Hey everyone, it's Robert Hensley, your Truth Be Told Minuteman, and I am coming to you today to talk about scary ghost stories, right? But not just scary ghost stories. You know, in the song, It's the Most Wonderful Time of the Year, which is a Christmas carol, Andy Williams, who released the song in 1963, uh, there's a line, he lists scary ghost stories and tales of the glories So that this was something that people looked forward to at Christmas. Now, some people assume that he's just talking about Dickens' A Christmas Carol, right? Because that's the most famous Christmas ghost story, right? But as it turns out, um, there's a longer, a much longer tradition um, of telling ghost stories at Christmas. So originally, before uh, the Industrial Revolution and... uh, the winter solstice, it was, it was dark, it was cold, people had to leave the fields early, there was nothing to do but sit around the fire, and so people had a tendency to share oral traditions, right? To talk around the fire during this time of, of, of year when it was cold and there wasn't anything else to do. Um, and then, kind of moving forward in time, those stories, those oral traditions started to be written down. They started to be uh, sold by publishers. Uh, The printing press made, you know, printing and and distribution cheaper and easier. Um, Literacy rates were climbing. People were able to read. Um, And so they were publishing these kind of holiday magazines or um, what they called holiday annuals, which were kind of like you know, the September issue of Vogue (laughs) that Victorian women would, you know, leave out in the parlor on their drawing room tables. Um, And uh, so people, there were authors, not just Charles Dickens, but other authors who were also, uh, during that time period, really kind of making a great living uh, writing uh, Christmas ghost stories. Sometimes they were... um, Uh, stories that were passed down from generation to generation. Other times they were wholly original works um, from authors like Elizabeth Gaskell, Margaret Oliphant, Arthur Conan Doyle. Um, That really kind of swept, that was kind of a tradition in England for a really, really, really long time. Now, in the United States, uh, Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol became an immediate sensation. It It was a hit. However, a lot of um, other kind of ghost stories or this tradition of, of t- telling scary stories around the holidays um, uh, really never really caught on. And part of the reason for that is that the Puritans here in uh, what would become the United States of America, um, the uh, Massachusetts Bay Colony, all these things, the Puritans banned Christmas. There were no feast days celebrated um, because of their uh, pagan roots. Um, so there was, uh, to a point where, uh, if you were caught, um, they would have soldiers patrolling the street. And if you were caught creating or cooking for a feast day, uh, like Christmas or Easter, um, you could be fined, uh, five shillings, which at the time was like three days wages for, um, for a skilled tradesman. So, uh, America really kind of, um, we had established this tradition that scary stories were really something that were done in the fall, um, around Halloween, and that was mostly from the Irish and Scottish settlers, um, here, and, um, so scary stories at Christmas never really caught on for the Americas, but in, uh, the UK and across Europe, um, it's still a, a time-honored tradition, um, so yeah, so when you're listening to that song, it's the most wonderful time of the year, and he says scary ghost stories, there was a period in time, um, uh, especially around the time of the Industrial Revolution, uh, that um, scary ghost stories at Christmas time were all the rage, right? It was, it was very trendy and fashionable, um, not to mention that before that, it was simply just a way to stay warm and occupied during the long, dark winter months. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in today for the Minuteman Report. Um, as always, there are three opportunities each week for new content from uh, Truth Be Told. Uh, Truth Be Told Minuteman Report every Monday, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 Eastern. 
Bonnie Burkert on Wednesday with Truth Be Told Transformation, again, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 Eastern. And of course, Tony Sweet on Fridays with the original Truth Be Told, same time, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 Eastern. And uh, if you have any ideas, comments, suggestions, um, please feel free to reach out. You can find me at uh, reportminuteman at gmail.com. Again, that's reportminuteman at gmail.com. Would love to hear from you. And uh, as always, until next week, stay true. Mm-hmm.